Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDie.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the start of a new week of fun videos. Today is my Mimeograph Monday with a twist. So if you are new to my channel, it basically means I'm going to case a project out of the catalog and then I'm going to make a different um, a twist on that. So if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. If you've been here before, welcome back. I will be watching live with you today. So um, if you are watching the live, you will see the chat off to the side. I think you do have to be um, signed into your um, YouTube account, your Google account or whatever in order to um, do the chat so make sure you do that i love um, our community that's growing um, every week in in there so if you have any questions at all that's where you're going to want to ask them while the live is going on and then i can just answer them away if you're not watching the live then just leave them in the comments below youtube will let me know that you left a message and i can answer you if you have a question so um i think that's all i want to chat about right now. I'm using a stamp set that I hadn't even used, so it's had a, it, um, fresh ink on it. So I love um, pulling out a stamp set that I knew I wanted or I wouldn't have ordered it, right? And, and, and do a um, card out of the catalog for you. All right, so I'm gonna stop blabbing. Close your eyes while I adjust the camera. I'll go quick. I try to do that pretty quick so you don't get too seasick. All right, we'll give the give the camera just a sec to adjust itself. I must have went too quick. All right, so I'm going to be doing this card right here with the Sweetest Cherries Bundle. So if you like punches, this is a great bundle to get because it, it makes such cute cards. So this is a card that I'm going to be doing. So I have my little recipe and you can get those recipes on my blog so if you want to um, do the same thing or you might be looking at um, a card in the catalog and you might go what did they use for that so that's where you can get those also if you ever want me to do a certain card make sure you let me know all right before we get started I want to remind you about the starter kit promotion you can join my team and it's you get an extra thirty dollars worth of stuff so it's a great deal whether you want to um just sign up for a discount which is what i did 23 years ago or if you want to um maybe do it as a business or make some mad money while you're um doing it so you get to pick 155 of your choice of products for only $99 in tax, Stampin' Up! even pays the shipping. That's only through October, though. So if you want any questions on that, make sure you let me know. I have a hostess code for the month of October. So if you are ordering less than $150, then this is the code that I would love for you to use in my um, online store. If you're ordering more than that, you might as well get the starter kit. <laughs> but if you're ordering more than that, um, then don't use the code because then you'll be your own hostess. I also put out a questionnaire kind of thing, not really a questionnaire, but just a question. I was, I haven't done my, I, did, I didn't do the fall social. I, the last social I did was last year's spring social. So I just put that out to see how many people will be interested. If I did one in February, I have to have enough people interested to do it. So let me know that's for the USA only. And it is virtual through a zoom platform. And then you'll get all your stuff in the mail ahead of time. And then we just stamp our um, projects together during the Zoom. If you can't do the Zoom, you, you're not into that, but um, you, know, you still want to um, do it, that's totally fine. Because you can re-watch the Zoom later and stamp at your leisure. Okay, so I think that's all the blabbing I want to do. Let's get the stuff that I'm using. Here it is. So this is the sweetest cherries and then it has its matching punch right here. So it does your stem, your cherry and your leaves. So we're using that 
and yes, that's what I'm using. All right, so let's get this over here. I'm also using um, Petal Pink as the card base. Now this is a um, a three by six card. So they, because I said right on the recipe, three by six. So I'm like, oh, that makes it a lot easier than trying to figure out what size stuff is. All right, so this is gonna go on the inside. This goes on the outside and this uses the gingham embossing folder. So I'm gonna bring my machine over and we're gonna emboss this piece. So let me scoot up a little bit here. Just get adjusted just a sec, sorry about that. Okay, then, now when you see me use the um, cut and emboss, usually I use one and two because I'm die cutting. But this time we are using the embossing folder. So we do not need the number two. So we just need the number one. You always need to make a sandwich with your plates. So then I have a number three and then I'll need another number three. So this is the gingham folder. Now this is a regular folder, it is not a 3D folder. If it was a 3D folder, we make our sandwich differently. All right, so we're just gonna put that inside there and it goes in fold first. So that goes through the machine first. So just make sure you can see stamping up. You know, it's not, it's not like this, it's not upside down. Make sure it goes this way. You want that fold going through first. And then just go in through the machine. All right. Get this off the table. And we'll scoot back down so you can see better. All right. So now you have this cute folder design. So now I I remember when we never had a die cut machine and oh, you would see all those cute cards with all of those textures. And I was so excited when we started having a machine. All right, so now you have that cute little gingham on there. We are also gonna do some heat embossing. So I've got some crumb cake And let me bring my thing over. I, I hope I don't drop, drop everything on the floor. Oh my gosh, did you see my video Friday? Oh, that was crazy. I left all the, the bloopers in it because it was just, people, you don't have to be perfect to do videos and that totally proved it. All right, I'm gonna use the Versamark because we're gonna do some heat embossing. So I have my heat gun and it is heated up off to the side. So we are just gonna stamp friend in the center here. And then just quickly put your embossing powder on it. And I let it sit on there for a second so it kind of can soak in a little bit. That looks good. Okay, then it's important to put your lid on your thing. All right, so let's bring our heat gun over. So I'm gonna turn it on just for a second so it can kind of get heated up. All right, then you just heat it and then as soon as that starts to turn, you move to the next section. Let me turn this this way. But you don't want to overcook it. So you can see how quickly that turns to this pretty white, shiny greeting. All right, so the Versamark pad is, is it's like a very neat pad. It's like a watermark pad. So you can actually get um, colors out of it 
just because it makes it just a little shade darker but it stays tacky so it allows you to emboss with it okay so we also have scrap paper over here because we're going to do some punching so we have our punch now i just cut these strips at two inches so i wasn't wasting so much paper and so we're going to do how many cherries do i want three real red one two three so you have lots of confetti all over the table when you do this card all right so there was three real red and then i want two flirty so we'll do two flirty cherries so this was fun and i i love doing doing punch cards but um so coming up with the twist card was fun i say that every week but it was all right then we also need four one two three four um because i'm going by the the card in the catalog and they just used four leaves you know me i would have used five but i'm doing the catalog version so one two three four because you know me odd numbers are more pleasing to the eye all right and then we need stems and then the stem is soft suede now the recipe was a little odd at this time because it just said like neutrals and brights so then i just kind of said well this is a neutral this is a bright so i just kind of guessed what colors all right one two three four five one two three and usually i lose some four because they go on the floor all right very noisy and then we find them all over the desk one two three four and five all right we'll put these aside because we need these for the twist card but two inches was a good good thickness i found for the punch all right so then let's bring our card over so we're going to put our cherries on here and it's hard to see but this is the piece that has the um that i embossed so what we're going to do we're going to take our cherries now i'm going to do the red ones first and let's put our stems on them to begin with so it's a lot easier to do it that way first all right so i'm just going to use green tip glue that i have just stuck in this little bottle here so we want to put our stems on and i'm going to put my glue on the cherry and then just press the stem in to the cherry we also have some of the lee or some of the stems going the opposite way so this one goes that direction we have one going that direction on the real red and you can and because i'm kind of anal in regards to that i can kind of tell that it's the wrong way just the way it punches because it leaves you that um that edge you know that i always talk about but we're doing the catalog version and nobody would probably even see it unless they're anal like me and i know that's probably not the best word to use but that's what the, <laughs> the word i use oh i'm not a perfectionist because nobody can be a perfectionist all right nobody's perfect okay so we have our cherries with our stems on them so now we can put them on our card so i'm going to use the um whatchamacallit the green tip glue because this has got that embossing on it so it's bumps and it's you know it's got bumps everywhere so the the green tips glue is going to like mold a little bit to the paper more than if i put like seal on or whatever so I'm just using the green tip glue. So I'm going to put one cherry over here. 
and I'm going to put my other cherry on the other side and then we'll fill it in and then this way it's a lot easier to do this way <clears throat> than working this way over and then you don't have your right spacing so it's easier to make sure you've got your edges right and then you can fill in the center all right so we're going to do the same thing green tip glue with this cherry and then we're going to put our flirty flamingo cherries on with dimensionals so i'm going to use the big dimensionals and we're going to put them on the card so we can just drop that cherry right on top of the dimensional so this guy goes here this one goes here and then we have our friend greeting and then this they have done a fishtail with so to do a fishtail this is what i do i just cut up to the center and then i cut from the side to that center line and from the side to the center line and it kind of gives you that fishtail i have a little bit more luck than you know snip snip i just find that I go a little crooked if I go the other way so that's how I get that all right I also want to stamp on the inside so let's get this done before we put this on the card and it, this is a photopolymer stamp set so I'm going to use my pierce mat that I use for stamping just so it has that little bit more of a give when it's photopolymer it needs that extra little bit of gushiness so I want my real red pad because we're using real red cardstock and I want my flirty flamingo pad because we're also using flirty flamingo so let's get our greeting so I'm going to go birthday wishes and sweet. All right. So we have our flirty flamingo and we're going to say sweet and then with the real red, we're going to go birthday wishes. So sweet birthday wishes super cute all right and i'm going to wash these because i changed cut some colors around when i did my twist and i don't want to forget i don't want to think i cleaned it and i didn't all right so it's just a good habit to get into wash when you're done because it's easy to forget all right, so this is going to go on the inside of our card. Now, again, this is a three by six card. This is your finished card. So I just cut the cardstock six by six, and then I just scored it three inches down the center, and then that made my finished three by six. All right, so this, we're just going to put this on with seal. And I'm putting quite a bit because, again, remember, it's got all that um, embossing and stuff. So it has hot lows and highs and all that kind of stuff. So by putting more on there than I might normally, it should, um, it should stay on the card a lot easier. All right. I used the green tip glue on the strawberries because they were like a smaller, you know, a smaller um, footprint okay so we want friend and I'm gonna put that on with dimensionals too but I want to use the baby ones and we're gonna put this right here so I'm gonna put my dimensional on the card so that I can avoid getting a dimensional on this cherry because he's popped up He's got a dimensional behind him. So I don't want another dimensional on top. We want the dimensionals beside. So we have our friend. 
and then we have to put our leaves on. So I'm going to use the dimensionals for the leaves. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm putting dimensional on the card. And then just take our leaf and go like this. So see, it looks like it's touching the stem. We want, there's two on this cherry. So this is a cute, cute set. So if you don't have this one, hopefully you'll go, oh, I need this bundle because it is so cute. And I love when you say, I never even noticed that card before till you did that. That makes me feel good because this, the catalog has so many great ideas. So even though like um, a lot of times people will go, oh, I like the twist card better. If, if Stampin' Up! hadn't have gave, given me the initial idea, I wouldn't have had the twist card to come up with. All right, so here is the catalog version. Super cute. And then that's what I put on the inside. But remember I said this was a three by six card. Well, three by six and, oh, hang on a minute. Where did I put? Let me get a regular envelope. All right. So this is our regular medium size envelope. This is what the standard card goes into. But this is a three by six card. So look at that. It's too big to go in a regular envelope. So we sell these really cute slimline envelopes and they come in a package with how many is in here 15 so there's five um, I think it's soft succulent um, gray and white so so I'm just gonna use this envelope and these are basically like a number 10 envelope so if you've ever worked in an office and I was a secretary in another life. <laughs> Number 10 is the basic envelope size. So that's what the slimline is. So to send this card, you would want to put it in a slimline envelope. So that made me think, okay, if I'm going to use a slimline envelope, so this is the twist. So now we're going to do our twist. So if I'm going to use a slimline envelope, this was my think thinking on it. I'm going to make a slimline card. So here is the cute little envelope. Now I should have stamped on that one, but I didn't. So, all right. So I used the same card. So it's still petal pink. So now this is eight and a half by seven. So that's what this size is. And then I scored it at three and a half. Now this is a size that I like to put in the envelope because it gives you a little wiggle room so if you make your card bulky or you have ribbon on it or anything like sticks out it's still going to fit in the envelope you could make it a little you know bigger if you wanted to but to me this is just the perfect size for it so anyways all right so let's get back to here so petal pink i'm still using petal pink I still use the crumb cake, but this time I used the stylus shapes for what's my greeting going to go on. <clears throat> Excuse me with my crazy throat. Okay, so let's do that and get that done. So we're still going to use our Versamark. I still need my tray and our friend. Now I'm going to stamp it off to the side because this is a little bit bigger than the other piece. So, oops, hang on, let me get this open. All right. So we're gonna stamp our friend off to the side here, off to the right. So if you are just tuning in, this now is the twist card. I just finished the catalog version and now I'm doing my twist. So it's just my version, different um, idea using this card from the catalog. I'm just changing it up a little bit. All right. I'm also watching live with you. So if you do have a question, just ask it in the chat and I can answer. 
All right, so we are gonna do some uh, heat embossing again. So once it turns, just like before, we'll just move on to the next section. I love, it's like so gratifying <laughs> as that changes. I think that was, when I first embossed the first time when I became a demonstrator, like, or before I was a demonstrator at a workshop, that was just like, oh my gosh, you know, because it is just so cool, like the texture and it just makes it so professional looking. Okay, so we've got our friend. I also, because now this is a slim line, so we had to change it a little bit because the folder isn't as long as a slim line. Now you could, I'm not saying you can't, because I could have stuck this in here, did part of it, and then flipped it in and do the other part. I totally could have. But the, the stamp set has this really, really cute little decoration. It kind of reminds me of um, maybe like a um, tablecloth, right? You're at a picnic and it kind of gives you that tablecloth kind of idea. So what we're going to do is, and now I'm going to use the Versamark. So this is what I meant by, it gives you a watermark. So we're going to use, so this is pool party, because I thought, you know what? I love this pool party. It makes this card, my twist card, be like kind of vintage-y looking. All right. So we're going to take our tablecloth pattern, whatever it is. And this is just the Versamark on the pool party. And I'm simply stamping that on the card and as this dries it makes that design come to life on the pool party because it just makes it a tad bit darker so you can see the difference so I just did the one and then I'll flip it and do the other side but you can see you know the difference so this Versamark pad if you don't have one it's awesome because if you have 40 colors, you've got 40 more darker colors of that same color, you know, because it just makes it a shade darker. So that's basically why it's called a watermark pad. So a lot of times that's what I stamp my name on the back of my cards with the watermark. And it's just... It adds a, a nice color. So see that? Now I've got this on here so that my pool party wasn't totally naked. All right. So let's set that aside. And then let's get to our cherries. So we have... Um, hang on a minute. I need my little guides. I made some guides. And... Let me put my finish card over here. Okay. So what I did was I made some guides. So let's see. We've got cherries, stems. I have all my little pieces of paper. So this also is good for that two inch. All right. So what I did was I made like a guide. So what I did was I just punched my punch. So this tells me where everything is. So this is my cherry guide. So I'm just laying it on here. I did it in a different color because it's a lot easier to look through a different color cardstock to what you're stamping on than if it's the same color. Now this time, I'm going to use the actual ink colors. Now if you don't have the ink colors, you could do this with just the, um, the Versamark. And then they would be the same, it would be a tad bit um, darker. But I want to do it a little bit darker, so I'm going to use the ink pad. So we're just doing cherry cobbler, and we're just going to stamp right through the hole. So I need, how many of these do I need? Four? I'm not going to punch all, all these out. I'm just showing you how I did it because I punched them ahead of time. All right, so one, two, three. So we've got our three cherries in the cherry, real red cherries, all right? Then I also want some flirty. So now we need to wash. 
So that's why it's important to wash because I was using ink colors this time. All right, so now we're gonna do the same thing. So we have our cherry guide laying on here and then we're gonna go flirty. So it's just gonna be a bit darker. So I'll just do a couple. And then I did the same thing with the, okay, that was my cherry guide. Oh, here we are, right in front of me. Okay, then I also did a stem guide. So I did the same thing, I punched that out. Then we have our soft suede. And this just gives the cherries a much different look than just punching them plain on the cardstock. So we do the same thing. I'm just going right through the hole. Oop, I missed that one. All right. So we've got our stems. And then we'll just punch them out. So we've got our stem. So see how cute it is? It's got that little stem right on it. Okay, so we would punch all those out. We would punch our cherries. And I also did the leaves. One cherry. So we would punch all our cherries out. Then I did a leaf guide. So I think you're getting the, the gist of it. And this just helps when you're punching as well, that you're, you know, you've got your, your leaves the right angle, you have your, your stems the right angle. All right, so this is Granny Apple, because I'm using the Granny Apple cardstock. So I, I stuck with the same colors, except that pool party, right, that I added on there. All right, so we've got our leaf and our leaf. So see what I mean by, by changing that color? It's a lot easier to see that hole, to stamp through the hole. And photopolymer makes it a lot easier. So I have these little guides and I will just keep them. I'll put them in the stamp set and then I just always have them ready to go. Then we'll punch our leaves out. So we'll punch out our leaves. All right, so there we've got our two leaves. All right, so I think I did the right amount of punching ahead of time. If not, I can always grab them. They're right there. All right, so let's bring our card over so we can finish our card. All right, now I also want to stamp the inside. So let me get the inside done because then I think I can put the ink pads away. Okay, so we have our, so I wanna change the sayings on this one. So this card is still saying friend on the outside, but I wanted to say, um, it's like a birthday card instead. So we're gonna go, let me do the sweet. Since it's bigger, I wanna make sure I have room for this on the card. So we'll do the big greeting first. So we're going to go sweet with real red. And then we're going to say thank you for being so. And then we're going to stamp that in Granny Apple. And I'm going to scoot this down so it kind of goes, that little G kind of goes inside that W. Now, we have the um, cherries. So this is the cherry that I used, was a solid one. But then they also have this one here. And I kept thinking it was like there was a bite out of it. But after messing around with it, what it is, is this. So let me show you. So we're gonna put a cherry off to this side with the soft suede stem. and a leaf. 
and then I want to put two over here. So what you want to do is we're going to take this cherry. I'm going to take this cherry, the, the bited cherry. Can you say bited? Is bited even a word? But it's not a bited cherry. I mean, I guess it could be, but what it is is, so we have cherry. But now you have this cherry, and it goes like this. So you have two cherries together. And then our stem. And our stem and our leaf. So isn't that cute? Now I should have went over a little bit, but here are two little cherries over here, and then the one. So super cute. This would be awesome to stamp on the on the envelope. So let's do that while I have the ink pad open. All right. So let's put our cherry down here in our stem and our leaf so fun oh so cute all right but let's turn it around and let's put some cherries on the back here so I'm close leaving it closed Then I'm going to open it up and do so we're just putting some stems because nobody you know what I mean like it doesn't matter if they don't match up all right and then our leaf so the leaf just to have some green in there. So there you get your cute little envelope and then I'll do the same thing to the other one. But now you've got little um, things on the back. Okay, now I can close my ink pad because I am ready to assemble this cute card. All right. And then I have all these dirty stamps <laughs> off to the side after I told you to make sure you um, clean your stuff. All right. Let's put our card together. So we have, this is going to go on the inside. So let's get that um, in there. And I trimmed the pool party small like it was on the catalog version. Look how adorable. Because I didn't like it if it was too big. Because I like the cherries to kind of fill it in. So that's why there's much, like there's this bigger frame around it. Just like the catalog one. So there's like quite a bit of a frame around it. Like, but the inside, so see, this is kind of my normal layer, where it's like a quarter of an inch. But this is like half of an inch or something like that. So, um, so it just has a different look. But that way your cherries kind of fill up more of the white area. So I did the same thing uh, with the pool party. So I really brought it in, so you had quite a bit of a white um white area so let's um decorate our pool party with our cherries and then um then we'll put it on with dimensionals all right so i have just punched all these ahead of time so you didn't have to listen to all of that racket and then let's put our stems on so we've got all these cherries so look how cute they are now that they have that stamping on them so it just gives you that that cherry look so i have like way more than i need but that's okay all right so i'm like sweating too i turned the air off whoo 
we had so much rain the other night and oh my gosh we had this big thunder last night that it woke us all up i mean we like jumped in our beds it i swear it was in the backyard that's how loud it was all right so i'm just kind of making my stems just kind of be this way and that way and this way and that way so i'm just putting stems on everything and i'll do the same thing i will put my leaves on after it's a lot easier to put the leaves on once you've got everything on the card because then you can put them where you need them to be all right now i do want to put a cherry on here so that's why I stamped my friend off to the side so let me get a dimensional so we're gonna put a cherry and I'm gonna put a little green tip glue and we're gonna put a little leaf on there so I'm gonna put my cherry right on here and doesn't that look so cute on that greeting oh it it just looks adorable i think it doesn't take much to get me excited all right so let's see here how many do i have i have oh i have to put some more stems hold on a minute can you imagine if i'd have punched all these out you'd have been here all day all right so i'm just putting some stems and again just kind of every which way I am using them the way they punched because I've stamped on them so I'm just wiggling them you know like that just making them be kind of crooked in every which way all right so the same way as I did before I'm gonna build from the edges in so I'm going to have my cherries. Now this time, I'm going to put them on with dem or glue dots so that they stick out a little bit. So I'm just putting one glue dot on there at, right now just to kind of get them on the card. I can always add more later if I need to. So there's one. Let's see. One, two. three and then let's put one of these guys here so we're just kind of I'm just making them kind of dance right so they're just kind of like thrown on the table all right then we want another red Oop, I need to put another stem We're going to put this there. Boop, boop. Actually, hang on a minute. I'm going to put. You're like, what are you doing? Because I want that one there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this one over. Because when I was doing the other card, I'm like, okay, I need to remember that I'm changing the the order of them when I do the one on the video. All right. So there. And then this red one will have that. So I'm just changing it a little bit. I'm going to grab that one because he's got too much of a slant. All right. So there we have that because then I want this to come over here. So see what I was doing? I was trying to make this one be a different color. So if I'd have had the red there, then it would have been the same color. So that's why I was 
moving those around a little bit. Okay, so then I'm gonna put my dimensionals on here just like before. So we have our friend. Right, oops, hang on a minute. Roll the dimensional off, roll it off. I need to come over. I went the wrong direction. There we go. And then we'll put our leaves on. So the card I did earlier, because I always do one ahead of time, I had eight. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I had eight cherries. So I'll show you the difference when I get done. All right. So let's see. We want to put some leaves. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm just putting the leaf beside the cherry. One, two, three, four. So I just, I was like, oh, I don't want eight cherries, but I'd already stuck them on. So I thought, well, when I do the one on camera, I'll just do one less cherry. It's still fine. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. All right, one, two, three, four. And five. And what's fun is, since the, um, the pool party is... Um, is is really into the card right so let's bring this white piece over so it's really into the card so it looks so cool because then they can go outside so see how they're it just visually draws your eye around the card because they're not staying within that pool party all right so i'm going to put this on with dimensionals so this is going to pop as well because I find with the slim line, you're able to do a little bit more, um, um, more of a scene. You can do a little bit more um, with the dimensionals and things like that, just because it's like a bigger card. You still might have to put more postage on it, you know, but I just feel like they're a fun size card because you can really, really do a lot with them all right so that goes on there that looks pretty even then we're going to put this on the card and then we're going to add a little bling to it as well so i'm just putting my adhesive so this is going to go right on here not there all right so that goes there and then if any of these are loose, see he's kind of a, a little bit loose. Because remember I just put like a glue dot underneath. So then that's when you use your pick tool. And you just lift up the cherry and stick the glue dot underneath there. And then it won't go anywhere. So you can do that with more of them if you wanted to. All right, so there's this. Now I'm going to put some bling on. And the bling I'm doing are the iridescent pearl basic jewels remember these are my goodie for the month of october so if you order 75 before tax and shipping this is my gift to you that you could choose the um the goodies now that's something i send to you separately it doesn't come with your order so don't try to enter it on on your order form because it doesn't know i'm doing that it's just something that i'm giving um but anyways so or you can pick the guts and i do have a video that shows the guts and they're super cute and they're behind me on on my thing behind my head if i remember to show you when i flip the phone all right flip the camera so one two three four and we'll stick one over here and that just adds a little bling 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 to the card but isn't that so fun now you can also with your gel pen now i know we don't have a gel pen those that did the hippest hippo class i still have two kits left um those went out in the mail so i still have two everybody got a gel pen 
with that class. So there's still there's still two kits available. All right. Then I'm just putting a little bit because it does have this on the stamp, right? Like it does leave that little mark there. But I want to emphasize it. So I'm just drawing right on that. So it adds a little bit more of a highlight than just the stamp. All right. So there is that. All right. So let's get our envelope so we can compare the two. All right. So here's a cute little envelope. Now I still have to stamp the envelope for the catalog version. And then here is the catalog version. So they are quite quite a bit different I think you know just not only in size but it definitely changes the look when you stamp on them first don't you think I totally think it does so all right so let me say see you later, alligator oh, so let me know what you think and um, if you have any questions make sure you let me know if, like I said before, if there's ever anything in the catalog that you go, oh, I would love to see you um, do this for Mimeograph Monday with a twist, just let me know. But give me some time, just in case, like don't don't say uh, Monday morning, <laughs> or you'll see it the next Monday maybe. So, um, but I love suggestions because it, it does, I love that challenge. All right, so I'm going to say see you later. Have a great night. I will see you tomorrow for my Teach Me to or yeah, Teach Me Tuesdays. And that's at 3 o'clock Arizona time, same time, same channel. So um, thanks for um, joining me today. I hope you um, enjoyed the um, cherry stamp set. It is super cute. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye for now.